And now a first look at the new season of Mama June Family Crisis. Previously on Mama June Family Crisis. I want to be excited and plan like my wedding. How are you going to tell the girl? Why the f am I finding out from Justin's mother that you're going to have a wedding? I'm over here at the baby shower. You're not going to believe who just showed up. Well, hey, Anna. How are you? I just had surgery to get rid of a tumor. What the f is she doing there? Mama's bombshells just kept on coming. You said to me, I would rather sign over rights than give up any money. I know that. And You'll I never that. understand how much you have truly hurt us. We have had it with her selfish ways. I'm not the bad person that I'm being made out to be. Meanwhile, we were all trying to live our lives without Mama. That's why you're sitting on each other like that. I think it's Jessica's coming out party. I want to be part of the girls' life. Those young women deserve a better mom. Dr. Ish thinks we should do a therapy weekend with Mama. But what if it turns into one big Yale fest? This is the chance to call her out on all of her lives. So we agreed to meet up. Everybody in school is like, my mom, my mom. And I always have to say my sister. I don't want to have to say that. I'm mad that I chose drugs and men over my children. I don't think we've ever heard you say that. The time together helped us reconnect with mama. But Alana was about to graduate high school. She's acting like her mom. I'm not acting like mama. And I was worried about her future. Good day for you to get college applications done. You're not even my mama for real. But finally, she got her act together. We've moved your application from submitted to accepted. <laughs> Final acceptance into the school that I really wanted to go to. Where's the college in? It's in um, Colorado. While Alana was looking to get away, Mama was stuck living in Alabama. Justin needs to finish some probation obligations before we can move closer to the girls. Moving forward, we all showed up for Mama's wedding. This is it. And that's it. <laughs> Even Anna, who we all just recently reconnected with. It feels good to all be back together. <laughs> But then, we were all blindsided by Anna's news. Your lovely oldest sister has stage four cancer, adrenal carcinoma. Our family has been through some messed up stuff, but nothing like this. Now I don't even know if I should go to Colorado, you know? I mean, this is literally gonna change everything. us on Anna. Right. What is the prognosis? Oh, I've, 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 I've failed back crying for three hours now. <laughs> and you go ask me that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I mean, I don't want Anna to go through what she's going through. I don't. I don't want to have the conversations. Life insurance, her kids. Um, I mean, who wants that conversation? Nobody. It is something that stays on my head all the time. And nobody understands. Nobody, nobody. I promise y'all, nobody doesn't. I promise I don't wish this on none, nobody. Nobody. <sighs> Tell me about everything that you know or understand that the doctor has said. Anna went to the hospital because she was having pains in her back. Right before my bridal shower, she had a tumor removed off of her kidney and her adrenal gland removed. They did tests on it. It came back as stage two cancer. They told her she got it all. Flash forward three months later, they did a scan. She had spots on her um, liver and her lungs. And that doctor diagnosed her with stage four cancer. And now we're trying to figure out what we do to fight it, maybe how long she has, what the next steps are. And I mean, the family just all came back together, so. We don't know what this holds for any of us. Like, I can't say my daughter's gonna be here in five years because I don't know anymore. I don't, I don't know. I do know Anna's cancer is very aggressive. So now it's chemo treatments. But chemo is hell on the body and Anna has to have an EKG done before she can go through with that process. Anna. My head is spinning at this point because 
and I seem to find at the wedding, like, I'm not really sure how this has all really happened, you know? I don't know. It's just, I can't wrap my mind around it. It's like there's a million questions running. Like, who's going to be taking her back and forth to the chemo treatments? What's going to happen to the kids? Who's going to take care of Anna when she gets, like, really sick? Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. You're so clapping. Yes, it is. Good news. Uh, yeah. The good news is that Anna's heart is good to go for chemo, but the bad news is, is like I don't think us as a family is ready to go through this process. It's not going to be long. Like once Alana graduates, her's not going to be able to do no more girls' days with us because her's not going to be living here. How about we fight when we get home? Yeah, can we fight about where Alana's gonna go to school at, Pootie Baby? Yes. No, because we fight Perfect. about that every day. I just don't understand why you just can't back off. I don't understand why you can't back on to them college decisions. I chose school in Colorado mainly because it has one of the best nursing programs ever. And I also got a $21,000 scholarship. So like, it's kind of an opportunity you can't give up. But at the end of the day, everything with Anna, I'm just like torn. Torn in a million pieces. Maybe once I get your ass to Colorado and I'm not nagging you 24 seven about college, maybe I'll have a little more time. Well, I'm gonna start nagging you 24 seven. There goes Anna calling me. Hello. Hey girl, I wanted to call you because I really, 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 really need you to do something for me. Okay. I want you to plan my wedding. What? You want to get married? When did y'all even decide that? Well, me and Aldridge uh, sat here and talked about this the other night, and this is the girls love them. And then on top of this cancer situation, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Now, I started chemo uh, Monday, so I want to get this wedding done before. Anna, have you really thought this through? Like, this is getting married. I just wanted to just, I think it's about time. I do think we can pull something together. I do understand where Anna's coming from. Eldridge and her have been together for six plus years, and he's good to Anna's two kids. So if Mary and Eldridge gets her through the next phase, I'm all for it. Do you even have a dress? Can we just go to like a local department store and find one? Oh no, you're <laughs> gonna get a dress. I'll make sure of that. You got you uh, the best yeah. set of wedding planners in town. I mean, we're not miracle workers, but we can see what we can do. Right, we'll start working on it. Okay, adios. Bye. Maybe mama can help us with some of the expenses. Here, call mama on my phone. Hello? Anna just called us, and her and Eldridge, they want to get married. What? She wants to get married before her chemo treatment on Monday. Three days away. Okay, whatever she wants. I'm excited, but it's a lot of work. Oh, tell Justin to get his ass in the car, and I'll see y'all later. I know. Bye. Lord help me. So we're getting a little creative with the whole something old, something new, and something borrowed, something blue. And I'm gonna start with the new, and that's her dress. What are you looking for? Simple, sweet. I don't want nothing too dramatic. You know what I mean? Uh huh. You know something pretty, very little bitch. I like the top part. I like the belt. I just don't like this. I like this one. Super pretty. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. It's really pretty though, so I know that's it. I'm in charge of something old. And I've requested some old famous family recipes. So I'm gonna be slaying in the kitchen this weekend. So we're here at the local grocery store to get up. She wanted me to make my homemade deviled eggs. She wanted me to make a potato salad and she wanted me to make my famous baked beans. My baked bean recipe, it does include two things of baked beans. You gotta get brown sugar, 
You have to get ketchup, you have to get Worcester salad sauce, and a thing of ground beef, and then you layer it with some full cooked bacon. And I promise you, your family will want you to cook it over here. So we already got the beans, so let's get the rest of the stuff. This is Del Rey, it's mayonnaise, you gotta boil them, and you put just a sprinkle of powdered sugar over And you can do it with and without relish. Even a lot of people who ain't into Del Rey, they eat these. These bitches ain't cracked. You gotta make sure they ain't cracked. They ain't cracked, so they do it. So this right here will be enough for the Del Rey and the potato salad. So, let's go. Hey, Dada. Hello, Mama. What are you doing? Trying to get ordained for Andy's wedding. Well, something borrowed would be me. I'm being lended off to Anna and Eldridge's wedding. I can say for certain that I never, ever thought that I would be cut out to be an ordained minister. But for 25 bucks and an email address, in there. You're gonna be a handsome ordainer. I'm gonna try. Flowers. Here we go. Since Anna's favorite color is blue, I sent Jessica and Cheyenne to go get out flowers and Anna's bouquet. Ooh. What color? Navy blue, green. Oh. Did you just sniff the fake flower? You smelled them? There's no. You got everything? Navy blue. Everything. I'm ready to go home. You excited? Yes. Okay, so we're making Anna's flowers right now. You know, it's nice to have all of us sisters back together because growing up, Anna stayed with Granny. It's been a long time since we've all just been like in the same room. It's kind of wild. What time is it, y'all? It is 1 a.m. 12.51 to be exact. Nervous yet? Eh, not yet. I'm just relaxing right well, now. Well, I mean, you ain't got but three okay, and a half okay, hours. Stop talking. Just not being that bad today, I will say. That is true. I will say. Just count your blessings, you know. There's Bubbies. Hey, Bubbies! That's a cute picture. Though. I think it's really cute. How's she doing today, though? I think she's fine. She says she's tired, though. How's she in there sleeping? Well, that's why like, I'm not trying to like, bug her or nothing or make her come outside or anything. Come on. Are you nervous? Yeah. Oh my God, Eldridge said I'm so nervous. Eldridge. Can't be nervous. He's like, he's like shaking a little bit. I'm, I'm nervous. Why? Why? Good. I've never been married before. Okay, though I've never done it before either. I don't know. You made it look easy. You know it's family and stuff, but you're still gonna get nervous. You can either park right there or you can park over here. I don't know who that is. That's a. Uh... That's some of your people? That's your mother. My mother? Hmm. Thought my mother wasn't coming. Oh, Looks like she's here my today. God. Guess I hate to her. F you. <laughs> huh. I haven't spoke to my mother in like 10 years. There was a document that was sold to the tabloids that only my mother could get a hold of. And she sold it for $500. And I stopped speaking to her immediately. Well, Grace, I hate her. Yeah. Don't miss the season premiere of Mama June, Friday, February 9th on WeTV. Stream every moment, Tuesdays on All Black.